Today is a big day for MG and JSW and to build excitement and the promise that they're going to bring a new car every three to six months. This year is the most exciting MG in a long, long time. That's the Cyberstar. Now, MG has always been about roadsters and sports cars. The MG TC, the MG A, the MG B, and this year, finally, a roadster in the range. Now, while the profile might be similar, what's different is that this is a full electric. Let's take a closer look at that. Very strong central theme. These extremely tight-fitting and sharp headlights with SAIC vision detailing here. And the manner in which the chin and this sort of spoiler has been integrated is also pretty unique. Around the side, the muscular form and tight-fitting skinning make it feel extremely sporty. Sharp nose and a long bonnet for that roadster look and a very quick angle or fast angle for the windscreen. Or the most interesting bit here is this. Yes, these are scissor doors and they're electrically operated. Towards the back, a nice cut line to give it a lot of definition. 20 inch wheels front and rear and a nice tightened rear with an interesting tail light design. Now that's definitely unique as far as tail lights are concerned. There's an arrow going this way, pretty clear that's indicator and this connected light with this bracket. Now while you don't get a frunk up front, there is a fair amount of luggage space here but you'll have to have a few flattish bags, it isn't very deep. Now the car comes with a 64 kilowatt hour battery pack or a larger 77 kilowatt hour battery pack for the dual motor. Both will give you roughly 500 kilometers or 450 in the real world. But of course, if you drive it hard, if you drive it fast, with all that power, the range is going to come down. Now you get two versions of this car, only rear wheel drive with 308 horsepower. And if you have the dual motor, it's 536 horsepower, which is quite a lot for a car of this size. The weight, however, is above 1.8 tons and even going to 1.9 tons for the dual motor. It is heavy for what's meant to be an agile sports car. And since open top sports cars are never as stiff as closed ones, let's hope the battery under the floor adds stiffness. This would lead to sharper driving dynamics. So a pretty plush cabin here. It's filled with this leather and suede on the inside, or Alcantara as we call it. And an interesting stone finish for the center console with these cup holders that sink and rise as you press the buttons. There's a place to put your phone here, push button gear selector, and this touchscreen forms your central touchscreen. Of course, it's not the only one. You have three of them in front of you for the instrument panel. The central one, of course, isn't a touch panel. So the basic information, of course, will be on the central screen, but you have stuff like tire pressure and different driver modes on this left one. And another detail here is that although there is a touch screen here, you do get fan speed as a button as well as temperature control. And that makes it really nice. You don't have to delve into that touch screen to get basic stuff like that. Sporty flat bottom steering wheel with two metal paddles. Nice piano black here and check this out. Now at 96%, 485 kilometers is what this car says it'll give you. But what's really nice is this super sport mode and look at that. Doesn't that look familiar? Did someone say Ferrari? The most unique button, however, is this one. And that, of course, is to open this door. Inside us at JSW MG say we can expect the MG Cyberstar to come to India sometime in 2025 with a 0 to 100 km an hour time of 3.2 seconds for the dual motor and an expected price of rupees 60 lakh, it could be a seriously tantalizing proposition, something genuinely in line with MG's heritage. A lot, however, will depend on how well it drives, but what would you choose? entry or mid-range luxury SUV or this? Let us know in the comments below.